Dr. Sawyer. Um, according to Dr. John Holster, the best medical treatment is mood stabilizers, which help with your manic and depressed stages. An um, example of a mood stabler is lithium. Also used for medical treatment is atypical antipsychotics. And at first, they were just used for people that have psychosis, but they were later seen that they help stabilize moods, which is great for people that have bipolar disorder. Besides stabilizing moods, atypical antipsychotics also help if you have violent outbursts if part of your bipolar disorder. Even though these drugs really help with curbing your mood swings with bipolar disorder, they also have serious side effects like weight gain and drowsiness, which causes a lot of people to stop taking them. Also, a lot of people stop taking their medication because they start feeling better and they think they're cured, but that hurts you in the long run because your symptoms do come back. It may seem difficult to live with bipolar disorder, but so many people do it every day. According to HelpGuide.com, the best way to live with bipolar disorder is making healthy life choices. That means eating right, exercising, refraining from smoking and drinking heavily. Uh, another way to live with the disorder is to get as much information as you can about the disorder so that you know exactly what you're dealing with. Also, it's good to keep an open and honest relationship with your doctor and keep a journal that helps track your symptoms. Also, it's good to find a great support system in your family, friends, or even find a support group for people who have bipolar disorder. In conclusion, I want to discuss bipolar disorder with the class because, like most people, I used to misuse the word bipolar all the time until I had a psychology class here at NOVA where my teacher explained to me the specifics and exactly what bipolar disorder means. And it's good to not misuse the word because when you're using the word, you're belittling how serious the disease is, and you're also making it hard for people that actually have bipolar disorder to be taken seriously. So I hope that the information I gave you you'll be able to tell other people about some of the symptoms, treatments, and living with bipolar disorder. Thank you.